All right, so we're going to talk about uh, statistical questions and data. We're going to be moving into stats here for a little bit. And to move into that, first vocab word here, we have data. And it says their data can be described as a collection of um, facts. For example, the measurements, observations, and descriptions, the categorical data. This data represents characteristics, and it's often sorted into groups. So it's uh, your taking the information and it, you're categorizing it. So that way you know that there are different types of groups, just like you would categorize, like say for instance, fruit, grapes and apples are not the same fruit. So they would be in separate categories, but they would be, uh, they're similar because they're both fruit. So there are different ways to categorize something. You could categorize it specifically by the type. So like that example, grapes and apples, uh, that they have the category of fruit, but be, if we go a step further and we look at their characteristics, then we could even say that there are different types of fruit. And so that would be going even further in the categories. Now, numerical data, that's data that represents values and they can be uh, measured. So if we have different types of numerical data that can be measured, then that means that it's going to be uh, a part of this numerical set. All right, so with that information, first task here is we're reading each statement and we're gonna determine if it's referring to categorical data or numerical data. So Luke, I'm collecting data to determine each student's favorite genre of book to read. Demarcus, I'm collecting data to determine how many hours of sleep each student in our class gets. Josie, I'm collecting data to determine how much money each student's family spends on groceries each week. Heather, I am collecting data on the color of cars that run the stoplight in front of our school. So looking at Luke's, Luke's statement, is it something that we can categorize or is it something that we can measure? So it says there that he's gonna look at all the genre, favorite genre of books, and that is a type of category. So we would say that Luke's is categorical because it's all genre responses. DeMarcus, he's determining how many hours of sleep each student gets. So determining the number of hours, again, that's a number. So we would say this is numerical. And then Josie's, it says there uh, that she's collecting data to determine how much money each family spends. And that's something we can quantify. That's something that we can measure. So that's numerical. And then Heather is collecting data on the color of cars. So that would be a category because you're categorizing it by color. Okay, now using that one, here we have a, a deck of cards. And in that deck of cards, we're gonna separate it into the two categories. And we're gonna see how you can take the same object and have it be categorical data or numerical data. So if we were to make this categorical data based off of a deck of cards, how can I categorize them? What characteristics do they have that are similar? Well, first and foremost, we know that they're different colors. So I could categorize them by color. There's also different suits. I could categorize them by suit. So whether it's hearts, uh, clubs, I mean, you could have different suits in there, or you could just say red and black, because that's the typical color set. Now, looking at the deck of cards for numerical data, well, there are numbers on there, so we could categorize this by the number that's on the card, or we could categorize it a step further, the number of reds or the number of black cards. Moving on to statistical questions. In order for a question to become, uh, or to be considered statistical, it must meet two criteria. The question must be able to be answered by data, and the data must vary. So that's kind of a interesting way to look at it. So you have to be able to answer it with data, and that data has to vary. So this example here, how many pets do students in the sixth grade, or in, in sixth grade at Jackson um, MS have? Well, that can vary because we don't know how many pets they have and it's the entire population of the sixth grade class. So it's kind of an important thing there. So that's something that does have data and that data will vary. 
So using that, we're going to go ahead and determine if it's a statistical question or not. And if, if we were to go a step further, we could go ahead and rewrite them and say, this is what a statistical question would be instead. All right, what is the favorite restaurant of the students in my school? Well, does it have data or data? And does it vary? Well, in this case, yeah, it does. It, you can collect uh, data on that and it will vary based off of what students, uh, what their favorite is. How many years have the students on my school's soccer team played sports? Does it have data and will that data vary? In this case, yes, it does, because not everybody's going to play sports the same number of years, and it's the entire population of the school um, soccer team. How many siblings do you have? Does it, does it have data? There's a little alarm there. Huh, good luck with that. Does it have data? And does the data vary? Well, how many siblings do you have? Yes, there's data there, but if I check how many siblings you have right now, and then in two seconds, and then three seconds, like the, va the data doesn't vary. You have the same number of siblings um, unless your family increases, but that takes time. So that would definitely be not statistical. And then how many pets does Mrs. Jackson own? Well, in this case, uh, the data there, it's not going to be statistical because it doesn't vary. She owns a set number of pets until she buys another uh, pet. Like it's, it's not going to vary in that data there. Okay. Um, so with that information, if I were to go through and rewrite some of these ones, like so, so for instance, how many siblings do you have? You could rewrite this and say, how many siblings does the sixth grade class have? Um, so that way you're including all of the kids in sixth grade and that would be varying data because not everybody in sixth grade has the same number of siblings. And then instead of saying, how many pets does Mrs. Jackson own? You could say, how many pets, uh, does the teachers own at my school or how many pets does, uh, how many, how many pets are in our neighborhood? Like you, you're including a, a set group of people and the ver there will be data there and it will vary. So that's where we could change those. If, if we rewrote those questions, we could rewrite them to be statistical based on how we ask the question. And remember it on, on this information here, if I were to go backwards, um, the statistical question, it has to have data and it has to vary. Okay, so with that information, I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have any other questions or uh, need some help, let me know. Have a great day and stay safe.